good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome back to another episode of a Dairyman's Diary. My name is Frank. I will be your humble host here for the remainder of this episode. And we are just finishing off stacking some straw. We some straw, some hay even. We brought this hay in yesterday, as you may well have seen. Um, but we did have to. Um, we couldn't get it all in stacked before we had to feed everything up last night. So uh, we're just finishing this off now. Shouldn't take us too much longer to get them all done. Uh, that's perfect. We're just going to keep stacking into this shed here. Once we get these, uh, what have we got there? About half a dozen bales. Once we've got those ones done, we're going to bring the big square Hestons into here as well. Uh, and get those stacked in here as well. So everything is in the same shed and it's nice and tidy. Which is what we strive for. Uh, JCB handled it all wonderfully. Uh, must say, I really enjoy using this. Uh, having its ability to spin around tight corners like that is always a delight. Uh, get those two next. But yeah, it's been fantastic to actually get to use this properly and uh, really crack on here. There we go, lovely. Uh, excellent. Yeah, so it's those bales there that we're gonna we're gonna pull them along, uh, so everything should be nicely organised. Free up a little bit more space around the yard here. Uh, but we are tipping these on their end to stack them just because it stacks a little bit easier in a smaller shed. Uh, yeah, it takes a little bit longer to do, but it just keeps everything that little bit extra uh, organization, which is kind of what I always want with my yards. And hopefully, after we get this done, uh, everything's been fed up this morning. I just got back from dropping off a load of milk as well, so. The, the main daily chores have been done, and now we're hopefully going to get this tidied up, and we're going to go and check, bring out the combine. Get it out of its shed, get the service down, get it ready to go for probably no, another couple of weeks, but it won't be too far off. I know that much. But the best is to get everything kind of serviced up ready to go now. It is it is an older machine, uh, so it does take a little bit of preparation just to make sure that it's, it's all uh, going to operate as we expect it to. And the belts start to slacken off and lose their tension, so we might have to replace a couple of those as well, but we'll have a look-see. Oh, that's perfect. So how are you all today? I hope you're doing very well. Whatever you may be getting up to, I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, do let me know uh, if you are working on, if you're a neighbour of mine here in Meadow Grove, what you're getting up to as well. Uh, I always like to find that out. Uh, excellent stuff. We also need to get rid of that bale trailer. Uh, we need to go and stick that back down the track, I think, would be the best thing to do with that one. Uh, but first of all, there uh, we will just get these all wrapped up here. Excellent stuff. And let's get these up nice and high. Oh, Kido. Okie dokie then, that's good enough for me. Uh, what we'll do, uh, we're going to have to take this fork off quickly, move some of the, move the muck fork around a bit. So we will get these small bales here shifted in the corner and then we'll, uh, we're going to have a look at the new updates on the, the parlour as well, make sure that's all coming along here show you what changes we've made and then we will we will continue all right then folks that's nicely done uh, we are just going to pop the JCP up in the shed for now I think we're done with that we'll use the international thing just to get rid of this bale trailer uh, but it's nice to have a little bit more space back in this main barn park that up there that's lovely uh, but before we go any further with that, we're going to have a look at the latest developments here. Uh, as you can see, the guys are busy putting the beginning stages to the roof on here. Um, so you can see that they've put these, I don't know why they do it this way, but they've put these frames in there. Um, and yeah, so put the frames on. The bricky came back in and put another block wall up there, so he's doing well. And he's kind of waiting now until they start to put the roof on uh, before they kind of get involved or like trying to work on top of each other, I think. Um, but yeah, that will come along very quickly uh, and we'll be very intrigued to see how that progresses, I think. Um, what we are going to be doing, we're going to have another wall like this on this side up to here and then it's going to be a half wall 
It's going to come all the way out to the end. Um, and we'll be have like a net on the side there so that we can get some air to come through there to keep up, uh, some good ventilation going on the off chance that we do put any uh, livestock into here. Uh, so that's coming along very well. Um, additionally, we have a little bit more paneling on the side here. Uh, Joiner came back in and really kick, uh, kicked that on. And we've also got the railings along the bottom. Uh, so we've got the feed troughs in there. Uh, so really, we've got some more paneling to put on. Uh, up the side here and along the front. And then we have to put all the, the basins in here, the stalls, the robots and everything to go in here. So that's going to come along shortly, I should imagine. Won't take us too long to get that bit ironed out. Um, other news, we found, albeit quite a big one, but we found a fork for the front of the skid steer. Um, I'm looking for a bucket as well. I think I've narrowed one down, so we'll get that on there soon. Uh, but that is a bit big, but it's handy for just clearing, scraping out passages and things like that. Works a treat. Uh, so that is also a great development. Uh, but what we'll do now, well, as I mentioned, we'll get rid of this bale trailer here, because uh, it's kind of blocking us into the pit again this morning. Uh, so we'll jump back into the International. And we'll, uh, yeah, let's get this hooked up and we'll get it back down the driveway, out the, uh, down the track there, out the way. So yeah, we, ultimately we have, so far we've been quite lucky with the weather. Uh, we've got some good growing weather at the minute, so the spring crops are really kicking in, coming along nicely. Um, so we should see, like I was thinking, a couple of weeks we should be able to get some, uh, get stuck into a little bit of harvest all being well. So there's a skid steer on the inside to watch out for, but that's perfect. And away we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to just take us down to where the the hay barn is, just down the road there, and it means that we can just get this kept out of the way, really, because it's a big. My yard's not the biggest. Oh. Yeah, my yard's not the biggest there, so it's a struggle to keep everything tucked in. Uh, those trees are growing up, we could do pruning back. There we go. And this is where we typically keep a lot of our spare trailers and things, keep them out of the way. Uh, but in this scenario, I don't think we'll quite get it squeezed in there, so we'll just put it further down the track here. space at this top end we can just stick it into. Mind the trees. Excellent stuff. A quick uh with a quick detach we'll get it back on our way and then next job is to go and uh, salvage the beast in the sh in the sheep shed. Get the combine up and working, which will be a nice thing to get going. Actually, it's always nice when the when you pull uh, the old combine out the shed for the first time. Really, really nice to get that fired up. It does take a little bit of kickstart. I wouldn't be surprised if we have to jump start it this morning. Okay, folks, we will just. Park this back in its shed here. That's uh, lovely, and it's time, I would say, to get on with the. to go and get the combine. So we will jump into the landy, and we can take that down. That's fantastic. Oh, I've left my shed there, I can't go out that way. Alrighty then, so at this stage as we trundle our way on over, uh, you can also see we put a little bit of, uh, let's just move this back, have a look at that. Did a little bit of surfacing work to the, the yard there, that was a bit of a tricky slope, so we added a little bit extra hardcore in there just to make it a bit more passable. Uh, yeah, 
little things like that just made unloading bales and bringing the, the bale trailers in that bit easier really um, but as we make our way on down I'd just like to welcome each and every one of your new subscribers to the family thank you ever so much for subscribing if you are new to the family as always don't forget to uh, don't forget to let us know where you're watching from uh, I do always like to know about that so drop a comment down below with where you're watching from what you're getting up to as well that's always interesting so do do keep in touch, and I always do endeavour to reply to everything, so yeah, drop a comment and I'll um, I'll look forward to hearing from you. Uh, we are a growing family here, which is fantastic, so uh, we are, I'm led to believe the the channel that we post on here is getting up to close to 2,000 subscribers, which is always, always awesome. Right now though, we are just going to swing into the sheepyard here, and then let's see, let's see if she'll start. Well, it started, folks. <laughs> you know, there's life in the old beast yet. Yeah, it's going. Fantastic. Okay, we are going to... Uh, I think we'll just edge this out, actually. And then once we've edged it out, we'll let it tick over for a little while and make sure it's all it's all coming along fine. Brakes aren't stuck on, which is a, a small relief. Okay, gotta be nice and slow about this. Ooh. <laughs> we'll just square that up a little touch, that's better. Alright then, we're just gonna leave this in the main yard here for now, just to tick on over. Uh, just to let it warm through really more than anything else but we will be taking this back up to our yard today uh, so we'll leave this here for now uh, we are oh, slide that door open and out we go now unlike many of the modern monsters of the world it's not a it, it doesn't have a very meaty engine to it at all but it's enough to get it to get it fatty, really, just about. Uh, let's see if we can open these up. There's one. And there's two. So, so far everything seems to be... We don't have a lot of the drive pulleys going at the moment because these are all for the threshing unit. Um, the gear has not been put in yet. But we will uh, we'll check that one out once we get everything hooked up. We'll probably do that back at the yard, I think. Mm. Um, but the main thing we need to look at at this stage... There we go. Is look at the powertrain. Look at that thing. There's nothing to it, but it's... Well, it's shaking quite a lot though, actually. But it's uh, it's doing its job. What a beast of a machine. And there we go. Alright, so we're going to let this tick over for a little while, uh, and then we're going to take it back up to the yard, we'll have to get a lift back down um, to come and get the landy with the header trailer, but we'll get it all set up there, and all being well we should be able to, um, should be able to get this, get this all geared up and get it working I should think. Alrighty folks, welcome back, we are trundling, this machine is firing up the hill here. Um, doesn't go very quickly, it is very much in the same camp as the Lodal in terms of overall pop speed, but uh, it's quick enough, let me tell you. Keeping the door open because, well, that's the air conditioning. Uh, there are some fans in here somewhere, but they're just not working, so uh, that'll do us fine. And we're just going to, like I say, we're going to park this back up the yard there and have a good look at it inside and see what we can make of it, see if we can get it working properly. Uh, but ultimately, uh, it, we've had this. Oh lord, I've had this in the farm now for. 25, 26 years I think, and it's still not skipped a beat, so uh, anything that goes wrong with it is very simple to sort out, it's all belts and belts and bolts really, no computers, and for the amount of output we're going to be having, I don't need anything bigger than this at all, um, so fingers crossed as long as it survives, uh, it'll be staying with us as long as there's no significant uh, malfunction along the way. Uh, but for now, like I said, we're just going to swing this into the yard here, then we'll probably take a John Deere or something down and 
uh, go and pick up the header trailer, bring that back up, and we can just kind of put it all into gear, let it run over a bit, and give it a good service and over, see how it fares up. But uh, always nice to bring the combine out. Oh, it gets a bit tight there. Just have to move across a little bit. Uh, but what I think we will do is leave this here as we uh, start to get this all serviced up. So. What I will say is thank you ever so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you are new to the family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more from uh, myself, Frank, and everything else he has going at Simulation for the Nation. So, until next time. We'll get back there. The brakes are a little bit uh, slack and they went crashing into my wall. There we go. Until next time, though, thank you ever so much for watching. Do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing. But most importantly, as always, happy farming.